Now we're into the top three most frequently asked questions about the use of commercial drones for spreading and spraying. At number three, we have this can of worms. Can you spray pesticides from a drone? Since the publication of PricewaterhouseCoopers Skies Without Limits version two report back in June 22, and the subsequent publication of the UK government's drone ambition statement the following month, this is an area that's evolving rapidly. Let me explain. Very sensibly, the two bodies that oversee agricultural drone operations have split their responsibilities according to their respective sectors. The Civil Aviation, the CAA, have granted us an operational authority for agricultural spraying and spreading with a drone. They are happy that we have demonstrated that we can fly and operate these large drones safely in line with our operational safety case document. In our operational authority, the CAA state that we must hold a valid HSE, health and safety, approval for any chemicals to be sprayed or spread. So we picked up the phone to HSE to clarify exactly what this meant, and they've been very helpful. They explained that we can spread and spray any chemical, seed, fertilizer, organic or biological material, nutrient or stimulant, as long as it does not have a MAP number, that's M-A-P-P. -P. Basically, we can spread or spray any chemical that does not have a pesticide number or appear on the pesticide register. So this was great news and allowed us to get the drones into commercial operation immediately. Naturally, those in farming and forestry want to be able to spread and spray the pesticides, herbicides and fungicides. So we've asked the HSE department how we could go about making this happen. And they've explained that all we need to do is provide high quality spray drift data for each drone. And this will enable us to apply for an application permit for these pesticides. At the time of recording, we're three experiments through a series of four that will give us that high quality drift data. The experts at the Silso Spray Applications Unit, led by Claire Butler Ellis, are guiding us through this technical process. And during the first quarter of 2024, we hope to have that data complete. Unlocking access to the plant protection products that keep our UK farmers and growers in business will make a huge difference and will be the beginning of widespread adoption of drones throughout the sector. This has been a very high level overview of the most controversial of all the questions on this list. And if you'd like more details, I'd be happy to connect with you directly and discuss it further. Now, the question at number two seems to be one that's totally specific to the drone world. I can't imagine any other sector where this would be one of the most frequently asked questions.